construction day number four. So what I'm gonna do on the middle piece here first is I'm going to attach this galvanized steel flashing. So the purpose of the steel flashing to go on the underside of the subfloor, the main reason is like obviously you need some type of bottom to the subfloor framing. And what's gonna go in these cavities is gonna be rigid, uh, the rigid foam insulation there. And also since it's gonna be on the underside, it's gonna protect uh, the house from any types of like rodents or rats or whatever that are gonna try to get up through the bottom of the house. So this is the underside of the centerpiece of the framing. So I'm just gonna roll out some pieces uh, cut it with the tin snips and then we're gonna be stapling it uh, down just with a staple gun here. And then all the seams, so there's probably gonna be a bit of an overlap uh, between the pieces of the steel flashing. So the seams are gonna be taped up uh, using some of this foil tape here. So the staple gun is not strong enough to actually go through the steel and into the wood. Uh, so luckily I do have some one inch roofing screws that I'm gonna use to attach the flashing to the underside of the subfloor. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this uh, this foil tape and just tape along all the different seams. And this piece is gonna be ready to actually go in the trailer there. So let's do it. These things like, they don't really hurt very much. It's just freaking annoying when you slice the end of your finger like that. So this is what the finished product looked like. I'll throw that on the trailer, get it in place, and then it can be bolted down. Okay, I think that's gonna work. All right, so here's the center section in place here, but here's an example of how we're gonna connect the subfloor uh, framing to the trailer. So this is an eight inch uh, galvanized 3 8 inch bolt. So all I'm gonna do is just drop it down. And then you can see here, since it's countersunk, the top of the bolt sits below the level of the, of the actual subfloor itself. So you can see the bolt right there popping down through the bottom. So that's how all the sections are gonna be connected to the trailer. And then on the flange here, it'll be connected the same way. Only, only need probably a five inch bolt uh, to get through to the bottom there. So that's how we're gonna make that really, really strong connection from the subfloor which the walls are gonna be screwed into, uh, the sheathing is gonna be screwed into. So that's how we make that like really super strong connection to the trailer. So the floor will never ever like lift off or tear apart 
uh, from the trailer itself. So that's why it's so important to have so many of these connection points that are directly connected uh, to the trailer. All right, so I've got the back piece of the subfloor framing. It is all flashed and taped. So we're just gonna throw it up on top of here and I can drop some bolts in it there. When you put this flashing on here, it gets a lot heavier than it was before. Just recorded a whole section, didn't have the microphone on. I really needed Hannah for that to remind me if the mic is on. Red lentil chili uh, for lunch. What I like about red lentil chili is that it's something that I can always depend on for being like really good. You know, there's some things that you can make and like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not really good. Red lentil chili is just like, it's just very dependable. It's always so good. I made this one a little bit different. I added in uh, some black beans, some of the uh, some of Hannah's like go go gone stuff. However you say that, uh, some red pepper powder, better than bouillon, uh, onions, garlic, some chopped red pepper, tomatoes, tomato paste, and it's just like boom, so freaking good. So I've got the two rear sections of the subfloor, uh, the flashings on underneath, all the bolts are dropped through. And then I'm just going to, when I'm done lunch, I'm gonna start working on that front portion. I have to drill all the holes through into the trailer and then put the uh, the flashing on underneath. So yeah, I've gotta get that front portion done and then I think that is, I think that's it for the day. So I got this section flashed and taped off. I'm gonna try to get it back on there. I'm not gonna make any promises. With all the flashing on here, it adds like another 50 or 60 pounds. I'm gonna try, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Ugh. baby she is looking good so I got six inch bolts to go through the the two by fours into the flange there uh, six inches is way too long I really only need like I don't I don't think they sell four and a half inch but if they don't then I'll just get five inch bolts and then the half inch bit that I was using to drill through the metal uh, down there it's just gotten completely dull so I'm gonna have to get another half inch uh, drill bit uh, to finish drilling through the runner beams on this side here. Then I'll be back tomorrow and I'm gonna start uh, installing the insulation in the cavities here and then I can actually finally put the subfloor on. So I don't know if I'm gonna call this the end of today's vlog. I still have a bunch of work to do uh, when I get home but I will catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog. Talk to you soon. Peace.